Hey YouTubers, Nightcrawler, I'm back. Anyways, uh, I wanted to, uh, I found something today at Walmart that I thought was kind of neat. Uh, I was out, you know, doing our normal looking, we actually were going to return uh, that canopy that we bought because the canopy is, it's just not stable enough. So we're going to go through Cabela's and buy, uh, what's the other one called, sweetie? Cabela's, um, I don't know. Cabela's something. Anyway, she can't, I don't remember. But I, I found this at Walmart today, and I thought it was kind of neat. Um, not that, but this right here. And this is called, you know, depending on, you know, obviously you guys have, you know, different options to use for uh, cooking. You know, I, I actually like this one. This one's good for boiling water, extremely lightweight. Um, really, we've got to do this right now, nubs. But, um, you know, it's a sterno with a little grill made out of aluminum. It's actually uh, really handy. Uh, you can take that. That's a lightweight you know, option for boiling water. It boils water great. You could, uh, you could take the sterno out and, uh, use it as a, use a little fire in there. You make a little fire and use that as a grill. But, um, and then as you've seen in my very first video was this, uh, was one of these. This is actually the second one I bought that I just wanted to put away and not use it. The other one, we still have it. It still works. We just ran out of fuel for it. it takes this kind of fuel over here. And so you can see there's a sterno can, uh, premium blend fuel for the stove, more of a high octane just for cleaning it out. Some charcoal, camp fuel, Coleman propane bottles. Don't mind my dog playing with his toy in the background. You know, one of these, uh, these, uh, little fuel canisters right here. Butane propane mix. Same thing with that. That's a bu uh, butane, you know, wood. You can baton that up, you know, make, put it in there. Or uh, even this little grill right here, which I actually was going to show you guys. Now this is, uh, like I said, it's the big flame disc. It's uh, kind of cool. It, it's, uh, you know, let's see, I put my hand here. You can see about how big it is in the box. I have one on the grill right now that we have cooking up some corn. I'll show you in a second. But, you know, I think this is kind of neat. You could use that. You know, let's say you're camping or you're out there in the woods, you know, or some doing something. You want a little grill top here. You can throw one of these under it, light it up, and uh, I believe it's E85 or ethanol. I believe it's ethanol. Let's see. I'll see if I can go over this without my camera going crazy. But I believe it's ethanol. I'll flip over the back here. Uh, yeah, there it is. It says down there. Uses ethanol. And uh, you can see the instructions. All you do is basically peel the cover, put it on the grill, light it, and you're good to go. It's a one-shot uh, use. Supposedly it lasts about 45 minutes. I've seen other videos on it that um, I actually went and checked it out because uh, we saw it there and I was like, oh, is this new? I've never seen this before. And there's other videos out there on YouTube, so we looked at it real quick, so I figured, oh, I'll pick a couple of these. But, um, you know, I'll figure all you, the preppers out there, or campers, or, you know, survivalists, or whatever you want to call yourselves, you know, this might be a cool little product. Maybe it would work in your uh, situation. I can see a lot of situations that it's not going to be as effective as other things, but um, it should work uh you know, maybe you're a tailgater, you know, something like that. But uh, it's, a, it's a good little option. I'm actually thinking about picking up a few more. They're about four, a little less than four dollars a piece. But uh, I'm gonna pick up a couple more and check them out, uh, just to stock them away. Maybe uh, let's say that runs out of fuel, and I don't got any more of the the butane bottles. Let's say that runs out of fuel. Now that will take liquid. Uh, you know, uh, it'll take camp fuel, or it'll take that, or it'll take uh, unleaded gasoline, you know. Or I don't have any of these bottles, or those bottles, or, you know, no wood. Oh, no, uh, no wood, no charcoal. I mean, it would take a lot for me to, to finally resort to, to this. But, you know, it's lightweight, small. 
and uh, might be a nice little backup to your backups. As you can see, I got many backups. I'm very weird that way. I, I have backups to my backups plus my backups. Now, uh, over here you can see I got my base station radio, I got my CB radio. Both of those are CBs. But then, uh, yeah, I got backups to my backups. Got some flashlights over here. You know, can't have one flashlight. Gotta have backups to backups to backups. Um, knives. Kara. What else we got here? K bar. Uh, hoodlum. Knife sharpener. Um, you've seen a lot of my knives. But uh, also, not even just that. We have multiple lanterns. I mean... We got backups to our backups to our backups on lanterns. We got different lantern options. We got uh, four. We got two LED quad lanterns, two or uh, one LED regular lantern. Then we have a fluorescent lantern. But then um, we got the little camp lights. You've seen those in my other videos. Got a couple of tables, you know, axe over there. But uh, I'll take you outside and show you how this little thing's doing on the grill. Let's see, try to go through my house without showing you my just, just dirty, disgusting place. Uh, let's see. Got the grill out here. Oh, that's actually supposed to be another lantern out here. But this is basically the flame disc. We got some corns right here. Oh, those look like they're actually getting ready to be, need to be turned over. Sorry, it's not as bright as it should be. But yeah. We've got corn over here on the grill. Actually, you know what? Can I run in? Let me grab my uh, flashlight from the house real quick. It would be better video. Do, do, do. Uh, which flashlight should we use? Oh, we use this one. This was a trusty old standby. Uh, uh, do, do. Uh, anyways. There we go. Oh, actually, there's another lantern right over there that I'm airing out because that's a liquid fuel lantern that I'm airing out because uh, if you store them with the liquid fuel in them, you might get some uh, some smell. So, uh, but as a grill, some corn, and this is the the flame disc. It's just going away. It's going right up there. Um. I don't think this would be my preferred preferred choice of grilling, but in an SAT, yeah, it should hit the fan. It's easier for me to say. In one of those situations, or, uh, you know, there's not very much smoke coming off this. It uh, seems to be a very clean fuel. Uh, you might want to stay low key, but still have a substantial uh, good fire, a little more than a sterno. Um, we prefer to use the charcoal for actual grilling but since I just got this thing I wanted to try it and it uh, seems to be doing pretty well nice flame here um, only thing I'm a little curious is you know what let's uh let's throw the let's throw the cover on here and see how well that flame uh that well that flame does but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw the cover on there. Maybe uh, put the flame down a little bit. But um, yeah, that's another camp stove right there. Kitchen. <laughs> we got the, oh yeah, these are those uh, disco bed or uh, bunk system. Uh, my, my shelf of a mess. I actually need to go through it. I have too much crap up here. A team van, gotta have an A team van. Gotta have a predator riding a chopper. It's just cool. But uh, yeah. So this is the Bic flame disc, and like I said, I'm just kind of showing it to you. Uh, you guys probably have a lot better options, but maybe for an apartment goer or somebody who doesn't want to store propane or you know something like that. This might be a, another option for you. It's supposed to last 45 minutes. Um, single use. You know, and uh, it's supposed to be clean, cleaner burning than... Uh, than uh,
sorry about that guys on my video every uh, 10 sec or 10 minutes my uh thing starts acting weird but this might be a better uh might be another option for you uh I'm, i if i was uh if i was uh out there i would uh put some of these away and that's what exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna buy probably a see if i can find a good deal on them somewhere online maybe a case of them put them away for a rainy day you know try not to use them i do believe they have an expiration date i haven't found it yet you might want to look into some other uh there's some warnings you might want to look into some other videos and see if uh what the expiration date is on it like i said this might not be practical for your application but uh might might work so anyways i'll catch you guys later have a good one